Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we're talking about the Valorant spreadsheet. Be sure this is now September 25th of Flynn's spreadsheet. So it's been quite a while uh, since the last one. But just to rejog your memory here, uh, the basically the spreadsheet from the last video. Um, obviously some of the teams I've been looking for affiliates now, which is pretty interesting. Even though some we actually know most likely, if not certainly. Uh, like UCAM Tokyo's for, for Giants Gaming and Zeran's for Carmine Core. Um, some also for, for Pacific and then China. You can understand absolutely nothing in that. So let's first start off with the Americas. And not a lot has been changed, I'll be honest. And there's my Epic Pen. So, uh, Sentinels have, so Sentinels, nothing. EG, nothing. Leviathan has a pretty interesting possible uh, signing. That text might will, will be signing with Leviathan. This came as a bit of a shock, considering that um, obviously in the last spreadsheet, if you just if you saw it, it said that they are, they're possibly going to be signing a North American player. And Tex, yes, he is also playing North America, but he's also I'm pretty sure he's mainly German, but I'm not really too sure either way. So at least uh, Tex will be in tier one, which is at least a good sign. But I'd be interested to see of how they communicate if that's the case. Shy looks like will be gone. Um, and we know that Havoc, Attack, and Leela, both of them are also gone officially as well. Cloud9, nothing loud has confirmed that Sardark has officially re-signed with them, pretty sure on a two-year deal, which is a, which is great for loud. And it's also looking likely that Tuzzy will be the, now the new duelist for the team. Um, nothing, nothing else I'm pretty sure on loud. Curry Sports, Shy is now looking more certain to be to be joining crew, pretty sure on a verbal agreement, pretty sure by, uh, Alejandro, I think I was, but, uh, that's that's pretty interesting there. A hundred thieves, both of them will confirm that Zeke's and Mike's HD have have been confirmed to be joining a hundred thieves as the coach. I think this is a phenomenal change in my opinion. This is um, a great change for for hundred thieves. I think Zeke's he was a phenomenal coach as well for Evil Geniuses. Lucky luckily he's now out of that absolute shithole that that being the that being the EG uh, business. And luckily he joined a much better business of a hundred thieves and. Even better, Mike's the same with the team as, as his assistant coach, so I think this will definitely help um, both the 100 Thieves and even Zeke's as well, considering that I'm pretty sure this is his first time being the head coach of the team, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, so I think this is um, a phenomenal, a great change even, actually, for um, for 100 Thieves, adding basically the just then the champion's coach, the that um obviously he was the coach eg to be now joining 100 thieves which is um really really good now moving over now furia looking now more certain that havoc will be joining furia other than i'm pretty sure havoc was rumored to be joining like loud and leviathan but it look like but it looks like he has he has finally set his sights onto furia g2 nothing nrg now they're in a bit of a deep hole right now whereas tex and sadduck are gone so they still have victor crashes and marv but who else are they going to sign? Are they actually going to sign a yay? Are they going to sign someone else? I have no idea. It's um not looking too good for NRG. And finally, MIBR with a weird, weird roster. Currently, nothing um on MIBR. Next up now is EMEA, and I EMEA don't think has a lot of changes actually. Fnatic, nothing. Main one for for EU is Giants Gaming. With rumor has that Red Gov will be joining um will be joining the team, which is really strange. And Cloud is he is I yelling? Okay, <laughs> um I don't think I, I don't know if Cloud has actually have uh, has had any prior experiences as as an IGL. If someone can uh correct me on that on that that'd be great. I don't know if he I gelled on Navi, but this is um. This is news to me, which I just found out because I was looking because I was quickly because you know I was looking through this uh before I started uh, this video and I did not see Cloud actually as the IGL, so that's pretty interesting there. But other than that, there's been uh, no changes in EU foot nothing, liquid nothing, coin nothing, karma coin nothing, vitality nothing, Navi nothing, gentlemates nothing, heretics nothing, and BBL also nothing there as well. Pacific now, when there's been some drastic changes uh, have been happening to Pacific. Zay Division is definitely one of them. Gone goes 10 and Crow, and Depp, Shook Zero, and Laz will be same. I'll be honest, uh, I'm not too fussed about this change. I think this is actually a pretty decent change, considering that, in my opinion, Depp, Shook Zero, and Laz, that those who were like the best players on that team. Uh, 10 was alright, Crow 
mediocre at best, we'll say. So I can understand why Ten and Crow are gone and Depp, Sugar Zero, Lies, I could be sane. I completely understand that. I think those three are phenomenal players and I think uh, City Division should definitely be keeping those three players. Exactly. Uh, DRX, nothing. Talent, nothing. Detonation, folks, mean nothing. Team Secret, nothing other than, other than Ching. He actually announced his retirement, so um, he's definitely not, not going to be joining Team Secret. Global Esports announced another player, that being Blaze King from Leaf on Boob Esports. Once again, I think this is a great change. I think Blaze King, he is definitely a very, very prominent um, uh, player. And, I mean, he's done a really good job. I mean, getting Boob into champions, especially as well in 2022. That was great by him. Um, even though he was part of the of the, of the uh, zipline accident that uh, Crash has gone ace with. But... Either way, I think this is a great change um, for Global Esports. I think, just like I said, Blaze King, uh, a phenomenal player, great player. I'm excited to see how he goes in Tier 1, um, especially now as another Indonesian player, uh, uh, another Indonesian player has officially joined um, the Tier 1 scene, which is great. Um, and, he was last, and he was kind of alright as well on Ascension, um, but just mm, not really the best though. But I think this is a great change. I think Global Esports, are just, just like you're saying, they are definitely uh, becoming very, very global. And pretty sure as well, as we go, if we go back to the spreadsheet, it also says as well that they are looking, f they're, they're likely, it is likely that they be, that they will be getting an, an EMEA import. North, not a North American import, which obviously they got Aaron to be the North American import. Um, and now they're looking for an EMEA import. Pretty sure Russ, I'm pretty sure he's, he's kind of considered as a non-import. But I'm not really too sure, obviously, because obviously he has Indian uh, citizenship. I'm not really too sure on that. And it's also looking like Surf will be gone. Uh, he would not be joining Global Esports, which is pretty sad, because I would love to see him in Tier 1. Maybe, look, he might join Talon, now think about it. So, there's a chance there. Genji, nothing. Paper X, nothing. Bleed. Uh, Darion, Crazy Guy, Scary, and, and, um, and Leggy Gel. All of them were confirmed as well, including Egos. Uh, Egos was officially confirmed to be joining Bleed Esports. Obviously, everyone saw this coming, I'll be honest. Uh, this was rumored for a very, 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 very long time. And Egos, he's actually a really good player as well. I'm pretty sure he used to play for XN Esports in 2023 in the Malaysian Singapore service. And he was actually a phenomenally great player. And um, excited to see how he goes in Tier 1. Um, that's really all I really have to say. I think this is um, a great... A great change, a great sign as well for Bleed Esports, considering that Egos, he's a very, very skilled and talented player. I mean, just look at these clips that, was, that, that he's hitting. He was, also, he was also a part of the team uh, SMB, or sorry, so SMG uh, team, which were at one point like one of like the best teams in Pacific, so at least he knows um, w what it feels like to be one of the best in the world. Uh, T1, nothing, and RQ is also in nothing there, and then China. Uh, nothing, I don't think. Um, actually, one thing I would talk about it actually is Yosemite. Uh, I'm pretty sure, so Yosemite pretty sure is likely to be gone because, I'm not too sure if this is true, but I've been hearing stuff that Yosemite is not in Billy Billy Gaming anymore because he can't reach Immortal. I think that's the reason. Like, I'm pretty sure like, like, like he can't reach like Immortal 3 or something, or Immortal 2, I can't remember. Maybe he can't reach any Immortals. I think that might be the reason why he might be gone is because he can't reach Immortal, which is the funniest shit ever. Uh, I can't remember who's playing for Yosemite and Billy Billy Gaming currently in the Act in the Act One variation. Uh, I cannot remember that off the top of my head, so that's a bit of a yikes there. But that's either way. It, 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 if that is true, that is actually kind of funny. So that's really about it from me. Obviously, the big ones being Billy Billy Gaming. Yosemite might be gone. Pacific, a lot of teams confirmed me that rosters like Global Esports and Bleed, EMEA, mainly Giants, just possibly getting Redgar, and then the Americas, Star Duck resigning, um, and 100 Thieves as well, signing their coaches of Zeke's and Mike's HD. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys the next time in the next one. Goodbye.